of all my miraculous voiceovers but censored aka no swearing enjoy eight. eight what a great day milady however my dad said if i don't get home in five minutes he'll beat my ass ta-da i did some stocking and i figured out that this is your favorite food why don't you try some it's not i swear what in tarnation Girl, you are as cringe as that one woman who said that they want donald trump to save her well you look like donald trump with that orange skin and blonde hair so but it's okay you're my donald trump girl because of yeah. you i think yeah. i might actually be gay yeah. Ew, get away you're obsessed with me for the past four seasons so like just come here already like stop denying your feelings whoa didn't you were drafting me for the past four seasons i don't want a girl who still wears pigtails in high school and i don't want to date a furry but like i don't have any other options so uh <laughs> Like, Miss Ma'am, you have no riz. Like, I'd rather date Luca than be with you. Or maybe me or not. Well, I'd rather date Zoe, so... Thanks for understanding. Yeah. OMFG, why won't he tell me his identity? I know I told him for the past four seasons not to tell me, but, like, I changed my mind, so just, like, freaking tell me, you know what I mean? Actually, I have no clue what you mean, and I don't understand why you're suddenly switching up. Like, you're so bipolar. Girl, I don't know who you think you're talking to, but it's certainly not me. Check your attitude. Girl, what side of the bed did you wake up on this morning? I'm only interested in men who don't want me. I haven't even been your friend for a whole year, and I already knew that. What if... What if he doesn't love me anymore? No, that's crazy. Everybody loves me. I'm Marinette. Uh -huh. If everybody loved you, that would mean that, like, Chloe loved you. Shut up, Alia. Um, I don't shut up. I grow up. But when I look at you, I throw up. Excuse me? Who do you think you are? You're literally irrelevant compared to me. It's Mariah's Tales of a Ladybug, not Mariah's Tales of Rena Flop. Who you calling Rena Flop as if you didn't lose the miraculous? Oh, what in the Mary Shop fanfic is this? Oh my god, hi, Chaton. I mean, Kitty. I mean, Cat Noir. I was just thinking about that dumb ice cream man. Who hates us? It's probably because he ships Zoe Nat. The dumb ice cream guy ships Zoe Nat? That's kind of gay. We're hetero. He should ship us. Anyways, I know he didn't come into my house without getting me a gift. Oh, shit. Right. Um, a gift. Like in those cheesy Mary Shop fanfics. Here's this rose I picked up from the floor. You're not special or anything. He sniffs cutely. Wow, this smells like shit. Can't believe all you got me was a flower. Ungrateful. Wow, you must be low-key into me. Anyway, yeah, I'm like a super big fan of you. But I don't stalk you. I quit doing that. Oh, I'm kind of in love with stalkers. I'm sorry, Marina. I know I should have told you earlier that I'm gay, but I just couldn't. But being gay is not okay. You know what? Actually, after you said that, I don't think I'm gay anymore. Sorry about the sun switch up. Straight pride. You should be with Zoe instead of with me. I, she's way better. I mean, I don't know, she kind of looked fugly as Kitty Noir, but anyway. But I can't be with Zoe because I'm not one of them queers. Wait, I thought you were gay this whole time. No. Unless you count being in love with myself as gay, because in that case, yes, I am. Oh my god, a... Just kiss Wait, me, her I'll breath kind of smells. <laughs> oh, you should, like, brush your teeth. And you should die. Anyway, shut up and kiss me. <laughs> you know what, since we're doing this, I might as well just kiss you back, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Only because I feel bad. Mary Shat Soul. Wait, holy sh! I just realized I'm kind of gay. I am into girls. This kind of sucks. Hold on. Yeah, I don't know why I said I was straight, because I'm obviously not. No, no, no. No, why are you trying to convert me to the dark side? Like, girly pop, aren't you in love with Zoe or- No, she's a pick-me. Um, why are you in denial? <laughs> you queer people are all the same. You make being gay your whole personality, and I'm sick Ugh, of it. the gays these days. <laughs> I know I was kind of upset when I found out I was gay too, but you know, I choose, I choose my, my own destiny. Miss Lee Tiki, I don't understand why Marinette is literally so angry. She's like about to live her love story with Cat Noir. Like, those TikTok girls could never marry Shat Endgame. Alia, don't be a dumb. Obviously, Mary Shat is not Endgame. Adrianette for life. Um, not to the not to the no, no, no. Yeah, I don't know who you're talking to with those thick lips. Of course you can't see how right I am, but those glasses on your face, four-eyed freak. <laughs> how are you gonna go call me a freak when you're literally a fetus flying? Anywho, I need Marinette to back me up in my argument. Did she take off with Cat Noir? I take back all the nice things I said about Mary Shot, Adrienne at Endgame. Ugh. <laughs> A gay girl who thinks she's straight? That is so hilarious, man. I need to akumatize this mother Hey, yo, horse bitch. Give daddy your power. Beautiful. Fly away, my mega kuma, and evil eyes this gay girl in denial. Uh, Marinette, I didn't think being gay was this upsetting. Queer with no peers. Howdy, folks, it's me, Colonel Sanders. <coughs> 
I am Daddy Monarch. I'm giving you the power to delete all straight people from this world. Daddy Monarch, it would be my pleasure. <laughs> Marinette, please resist. But I will only give you powers if you give me Ladybug and Cat Noir's miraculous. <laughs> Howdy folks, it's me, Colonel Sanders. <coughs> Shaky hands, shaky Um, you hands. know what? Never mind. Let's kiss Sugar Plum. The f*** you calling Sugar Plum? <laughs> Listen here, you little- Shaitan! You both need to stop being gay! If you eat my ice cream, you'll be back to normal! You know the show will flop if you don't get together! You know people only watch the show to see your stale straight relationship! Maybe he's right, Chaton. Yeah, after all, I kind of do need to be humbled. You know, all the toxic Adriana and Lady Noir shippers will come after us. Exactly, and that's why we can't be gay, milady. And you know, since we aren't one of those queers, queers, we can date. Lady Noir Endgame. Straight pride. Straight pride. Ugh. Look, Marinette, I'm sorry about all the misunderstandings today. But then again, I had all the right to make those misunderstandings since you made misunderstandings about me. You said you saw me shopping in Hot Topic. I promise that was not Hot Topic. That was Forever 21. I promise I was not listening to gay music. I was listening to Unholy by Sam Smith. Uh, you know Sam Smith is queer too, right? Howdy folks, it's me, Colonel Sanders. <coughs> You know what? Yeah, maybe I am gay, but you know, I'm only gay for myself because, you know, self-love. But I'll never see myself dating another guy. <laughs> you know, I still don't take back the allegations I said about you because obviously you and Zoe, y'all are gay. Like, don't deny it. <laughs> okay, yeah, maybe I'm in love with Zoe, but like, you have way more money, so... Hugsy wugsies! See you next time, honey bunches of oats! Yeehaw! Bye! <laughs> Pretty cries. <laughs> Tiki, it's pointless. I can't live the straight life. Marinette, I really don't care. So I realize that you and Sabrina got the same grade on the test, which is highly unlikely because Chloe, your grade is What? Suck. I'm sorry, Miss Bustier. We cheated. Chloe said I had to do it if I wanted to be let out the basement. <gasps> Chloe, you keep your dog, I mean, Sabrina, in the basement. So I locked her in the basement. Who cares? I'm doing society a favor. It's not her fault she's a ginger. Why don't you worry about your stupid baby instead of me? Why are you, like, so obsessed but with Chloe, me? But, Chloe, the back of your head looks like a horse's ass. I will not take slack talk from a ginger. Out of all of my three mothers, you definitely are my least favorites. You know you're the reason that Dad left for the milk, right? He couldn't stand you anymore. Layla Wazzy, you have one new appointment to pick up new wigs. I can't believe that Marinette would call me a bitch. She is totally cancelled. The nicest person in Ohio. <laughs> Holy hungles, Marinette. I can't believe you would call Layla a bitch. Listen, four-eyed freak, I did not call that rat a bitch. Marinette, lower Girl, your voice. Tori, I know you're not coming for me when you literally let Chloe bully me every day. And whose problem is that? Sit your ass back down in your chair. Maybe if you didn't look like you were in elementary school, Chloe wouldn't bully I you. I hope all of you die. Can you guys believe that Lila still thinks Ohio jokes are funny? Marinette, I know this is really out of character for me to say, but Lila, she is not a liar. Remember when she said she met Ladybug? Well, she was telling the truth about that, even though I know Ladybug's identity. Howdy folks, it's me, Colonel Sanders. <coughs> I bet her hair is real and she, like, does not actually wear a wig. Like, you honestly need to stop bullying Lila. She can't do no to you. Okay, pause. I'm gonna have to interrupt you right there with your four-eyed freak face. Lila's gonna throw the ugly wig of hers in y'all's faces and me and Marinette, we're just gonna laugh at y'all. That's really cute of you, my man. But you don't need to defend your G. She's a liar. Yeah, Marinette, you're such a liar. Like, why would you say all those things about Lila? Growl. Howdy, folks. It's me, Colonel Sanders. <laughs> Adrian is right. You guys are literally the smartest people in Ohio. I know I just those jokes, but whatever. At least I change my outfit every once in a while, unlike you guys. It's giving poverty. Ugh, Marinette, you're just proving my point. Like, Lila literally told me that you called her an idiot. Actually, I called her a LOL, whatever. You know, if anybody were to wear a wig, it would be you because nobody wears pigtails at her age. But yeah, moving on. Lila, she does not have three moms. She's the most honest person in Ohio, my man. How dare you replace me? I will not let somebody cosplaying Colonel Sanders treat me like this. Oh, please, ain't nobody want to hear you talk with your big forehead. Looking like you from the Big Bang Theory looking at Howdy, folks, it's me, Colonel Sanders. <laughs> 
with your big bang covering the white forehead of yours. You see, this is why I replaced you with Kagami, the same way that Thomas Asterix replaced Queen Bee with Vesperia. I don't want somebody who wears wigs to be the face of my brand. Get your bald and your green eye contacts out of here. Like love, it's 2023. At least Kagami Sarugi actually has style. And what do you have, a whole basement full of wigs? 20 women you manipulated into thinking that they're your mother? You are not the daughter looking at Sometimes I wish my eyes were detachable so I didn't have to look at your hideous face. Excuse me? You look like the Italian version of Dora the Explorer. Now get your lying out of my face, ugly. Unlike her, I actually told the truth about every single word I said there. Girl is faker than JoJo was hairline. Finally, I was able to get rid of her. Jeez. This is why your wife left you for Natalie. Ah, another day, another slay. Ready to akumatize some other depressed- One person can get upset at a time, that's the rule. <gasps> Oh shit, my <laughs> Labrossi has it out for Marinette Zupanche. Bet one thing me and that wig freak have in common. Okay, so I'll accumatize her and give her another wig to add to her collection of like 50 fake wigs. Beautiful. Anyways, moving on. Hey, yo, horse. Give daddy your power. Now get out of my face, you. Why does everyone look like a demon? Milan, this might be a bad time, but I want to break up with you. Ivan, shut up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold it, hold it. There are no way in God's green earth that you actually believe that Marinette is monarch. I bet you were a wig too. Marinette is monarch because Lila said so. The most honest person in Ohio, my Get you up, Adrian. Get your hands off me. That's like free COVID-19 right there. Tell the truth, my pretty. Girl, who's calling you pretty? Anyways, uh, you go that way. I go this way. I don't want to be seen with y'all. Lila Rossi, what do you want from me this time? You've been a like 15 times. I want to ruin Marinette's life because I have no life of my own. I literally have three fake personas because nobody likes me. Anyways, I basically just want to drag that home. Everybody loves her, but I see through her little pigtail. I know the truth. Marinette's a Howdy, folks. It's me, Colonel Sanders. <coughs> Girl, who are you yelling at? Anyways, uh, wig eater, I am Monarch Daddy. I'm giving you the power to eat wigs. After you eat the wigs, they will appear in your collection of wigs. And all I'm asking for in return is Ladybug and Gatnoir is miraculous. Cause you know I'm a sad 50 year old man trying to bring my deceased wife back. It's been the same deal for five seasons. Anywho, any shoe, Fox. Give Daddy your power. Howdy folks, it's me, Colonel Sanders. <coughs> I'm giving you the power of illusion, because you know what else is an illusion? That hair of yours. So is your wife loving you? No, milady, unlike that one, I actually find your pigtails attractive. Cat Noir, can you please stop flirting with me? I told you multiple times I'm dating Adrian. Girl, Adrian and Gress don't want you. You must be dating a different Adrian. Plus, like, aren't you, like, cheating yeah, on Yeah, I him? cheat on Adrian with Zoe, so what? Now you're trying to kidnap me. It's giving Felix. You must be low-key into me to be this obsessed with me. I will not allow myself to be dragged by someone who's literally cosplaying Deadpool. I think you're forgetting your place. I'm the main character. Oh, she is the main character. You're right, Marinette. I do look like a knockoff Deadpool. And you're definitely the main character because all main characters are pick -me's, just like you. And not you saying I'm like Felix when you literally stalk Adrian 24-7. You're no better. You know what, Marinette? The fact that, like, none of our friends believe us. But then again, Nino's, like, from Da Boys and, uh, Ali looks like a character who came straight out of jimmy neutron so i guess it makes sense you know how they're like fake for real all of our friends are fake our quote-unquote realist friends are all trying to get with me just reminding you i have options and you're no one special <laughs> but anyways we will expose lila for the that she is this might be a bad time but i need to tell you that your father makes pancakes <gasps> <laughs> falls to the ground cutely no evil smirk okay everybody shut your mouths meet the new class representatives i would like to thank chloe for paying everybody to vote for us no. prettiest people in ohio i knew it marinette you found good in lila this whole time you know even if you did call her a listen for i'd freak this is why i replaced you with kagami as my best friend Thanks for saving me, knockoff ladybug. I'm too old. I thought my back was gonna break in half. Who you call a knockoff when you're dressed up as a pigeon at 40 years old? First Chloe, now you. Um, have to go. Have to go meet my therapist about my identity crisis. Uh, uh, uh who, who? Uh, I'm a superhero. I'm just like that knockoff ladybug. Oh, I've been caught. He is clearly stealing. Are you gonna do anything? I know you're broke. Link gets paid two dollars an hour, but come on, do a little bit better. Um, actually, for your information, I am not stealing. I'm actually looking for a new owl costume since Ladybug from Whoville broke if mine. If I was the manager of the store, I would not allow stealing. As a matter of fact, he wouldn't even be letting the door for how ugly he is. Howdy, folks. It's me, Colonel Sanders. <laughs> Truly pathetic management. Oh my God! Stop complaining, Marin. Now you're not the boss of this store. Well, with the way you manage it, I should be.
Or you think you own everything when you don't. You're so annoying and useless and ugly. Ugly. Girl, have you even seen yourself? The fact that you're confident enough to walk around with that ugly mug is so shocking. Oh my god, it's a beautiful baby girl. Sadly, your parents weren't able to say those words because you were hideous even as a baby. You should turn your art store into an insane asylum. Hi folks, it's me, Carl Sanders. <laughs> or maybe even a mental hospital. Girly twirly, I don't know who you think you're talking to. With those bushy brows. Tweezers? Never heard of her. Don't even get me started how you're literally 50 years old and run around in a tight, cheap owl costume. This is why you're 50 and still Oh my single. god, stop acting like a carrot in my store. You need to get the f*** out. You're so annoying and useless. Now let's kick you out of my store because poor people aren't allowed here. Another day, another fail. Maybe my dead wife knows who Ladybug is. Gabriel, please. I'd rather stay dead than be your wife again. Stop harassing these innocent children. If you do resurrect me, I am leaving you for Natalie. I'd rather be burned alive than be your wife again. You're the most boring person I've ever met in my whole life. The day I died was the happiest I've ever been because I wouldn't have to spend another second with you. Can't believe I married someone that looks like Colonel Ladybug's Sanders. Ladybug's gay. That's the straightest person I've seen in my life. Now you change the topic, but yeah, no straight person worth picking. Ah, so I need to find someone to kill this so clean. Oh my god, why is this game so hard for my tiny hands? I need my fucking It's like my alcohol. Man's addicted to Camembert bear the same way I'm addicted to my love for Ladybug. Oh, wait. Yo, you give me a beat. 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 Modern daddy, daddy, modern, not modern daddy, modern daddy. Give me a beat. Give me a beat. Give me a beat. Give me a beat. Owl looking furry. I am Monarch Daddy. I'm giving you the power to make your greatest nightmares come to life. My biggest nightmare are those Lady Noir babies. Howdy, folks. It's me, Colonel Sanders. <laughs> Don't make this about yourself. This is about me. Oh, well, those babies are pretty terrifying. American Girl doll. Something we can agree on. You know what? Why are we even having a conversation with each other? I need to accompany you. Pick Give daddy your power. Oh my god, you were literally so useless. Not even Ohio, man. You're ladybug from Australia. Period. Period. Diet Meow Coke, your favorite player. Please stop. Your cat puns haven't been funny since season one. You're just embarrassing at this point. You know what's embarrassing? The fact that you still wear pigtails at your age. You know, ever since Adrian dumped me for cheating on him with Zoe, you've been looking kind of cute. So do you want to be like my rebound? Wait, hold a minute. You never told me you were gay. Actually, I wanted to be with Zoe, but she's going back to New York. So I guess you're my last option. Girl, we all know in secret I was always your first option. Rock and riff, baby! Yay! The rose flowers I stole from the cemetery cutely. Jolly good my ears! Turn it off, it sounds worse than Adrian's singing. I swear <laughs> to God, it's always Gen Z. We're watching a horror movie. Okay, I'm gonna carry you all like always. Cat Noir, take care of the kid. That's all you're good for. What does this world become? Me adopting an American Girl doll. Get me out of this god-awful show. Hi folks, it's me, Carl Sanders. <laughs> What a tropical paradise. As I got older, I turned British. Why in tarnation are there alarm clocks? Ignore them, lady. We'll have a jolly good, peaceful looking picnic with our American girl doll baby. I folks, it's me, Carl Sanders. No heart, it's all a dream. What? I'm telling you, ladybug, this is not a dream. But then again, I've been abused my whole life. If anybody knows anything about love, it's not me. Oh my god, stop being dumb. This isn't even a dream. It's a nightmare. Look at this tiny clock. It'll tell you everything. <gasps> Wait, hold on. You're telling me that this whole time was actually a dream? Like, I was not actually British? Hi, folks. It's me, Carl Sanders. <laughs> uh, I'm no. sorry, Chiton. You were never British. It was all a lie. But th this can't be fake. It is fake, just like the allegations that my hair is black. It's clearly blue. Anyways, now watch me whip. Hey, now watch me na na Die. <clears throat> Chiton, no. Oh, oh, she called me Chiton. Guess I better stop. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I'm sorry, Ladybug, for pretending to be you and have no personality of my own. That's okay. Over half the characters in the show don't have a personality. And you're not a main character, so nobody cares about you. Pretty Christ. Let me give you some advice. First of all, return those ugly glasses. Any hoozy woozy, power of friendship, or whatever. This episode is giving a fanfiction written by a 12 year old. Speaking about cringe fanfics, do you know what you guys should read? Zoe Net Wedding Disaster on Wattpad by the Ray Bourgeois. This fanfic was written by Ray with help from me and my other friend Nin. Here is a quick description. Zoe and Marinette have always had a burning love for each other, but people's doubts of their love left them with one choice to prove them wrong, marriage. But will this be the wedding of their dreams or will two blondes ruin it all? I know, it sounds really good. Let's make this the number one Zoe Net fanfic on Wattpad for absolutely no reason. The fact that we had to go through all of that, we are literally brave soldiers. And the fact that we didn't talk about being gay for once. Slay. Ugh, but then again, whoever wrote this episode needs to seriously get fired. Right, like, who thought it was a good idea to make 14-year-olds get married and have babies? Low-key. You did kind of seem low-key into me, though. Hi, folks, it's Nick Carl Sanders. <laughs>
Also, I know that I said earlier that I wanted to be with you because me and Adrian broke up, but I think we're going to get back together. He, he just has so much more money than you. You're probably the most bipolar person I've ever met in my entire life. But you know, since I'm a senti monster, my life will probably come to an end soon. Listen, I really don't care. Anyway, Lady Nora's dead now. Sad. <laughs> no, it's not. Hey guys, main character pulling up. Here to grace you peasants with my presence. How's my rich boyfriend doing? I have to pretend like I care about you so you don't dump me. Oh, hi, second choice. How have you been since Adrian dumped you? How have you been since you found roaches in your locker? The worst thing happened to me today. My dad told me he's gonna snap me out of existence. No offense, Adrian, but I really don't care about your depressing life. All that matters is me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry you're not as important as me. I know it's Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir, but really, it's Miraculous Tales of Marinette and Ladybug, because nobody cares about you. <laughs> Name one episode you're the main character of. You really can't. I was actually the main character in season four, episode two, so sit down. Sorry about being a little bit of a back there. I just want to keep you in check and keep you humble. But anyway, we're still on for later tonight, right? Why am I even bothering asking as if you'd cancel on me? Anyways, Kagami, how is it like being a disappointment to your family? How's it like being rejected for four seasons? I know you're not talking when you wear that ugly uniform every single day. I can't believe you willingly put that on your body. But then again, you also willingly got that haircut. It's the gay in me. Your haircut looks like it's a mushroom on your head. I know you ain't talking with pigtails. Makes complete sense that you were bullied last year. Mother, I never knew how to tell you, but I think I might be Stalks gay. Stalks Kagami cutely. So, please accept Kagami, me. Kagami, I cannot support this homosexual lifestyle. You must be with a man. <laughs> Okay, mother. This is great news. I'm a man. Let me just kidnap her quickly. <laughs> He's He's British. British. You. you know, Marinette, I don't know why you're chasing after my son. It's not like he likes you. <laughs> Whatever. I don't really like him, to be honest. I kind of am just with him, so you'll look at my fashion and make Girl, me famous. Girl, you think I care about your hideous sketches? I'm the best fashion designer this world has ever seen, even though I currently look like an unused tampon. I don't know why you're trying to argue with me when I'm like 50-something years old and you're like 14. <laughs> World's greatest fashion designer, my- I'm 14 and a better fashion designer than you'll ever be. <laughs> you're just mad because you're decaying and will die in a couple weeks. Not to mention that your wife is going to leave you for a woman how embarrassing so check yourself before you try to come for me <laughs> Girl, what in tarnation is this if you want to become a fashion designer at least take some good art lessons you drew me lead looking like a cindy lou who dupe anywho i don't know why you're showing me your trash drawings this conversation is about my feather <coughs> son you are not worthy of adrian he doesn't go after girls who wear pink pants he goes after men because he's gay that's why he shows zero interest in you anyways moving on eat my musty dusty pancake it's not like i poison it or anything anyways jokes on you I'm cheating on your son with Zoe. Speaking of Marinette cheating on Adrian with Zoe, do you like Zoe Net? Of course you do. And if so, you should read this fanfic that me and my friend Ray wrote. By me and Ray, I mean her. The second part is now out. Zoe Net and Wedding Disaster Part 2. Let's continue to make this the number one on Zoe Net for absolutely no reason. I just wanted you to know those pancakes were dry, kind of like your personality. They were also flat, just like your- I could also see the white uncooked batter kind of remind me of your hair. Uncooked kind of reminds me of unalive, like your wife. You know, the one that unalived herself because she didn't want to be around you anymore. Walks away like a baddie. Yeah. Hey, 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 let me go! Let Please me go! Please don't hurt me. I, I have a good sob story about my childhood. I heard girls like fuck? that. I don't care about you and your British ass. Okay, you don't care about my sob story, but I guess I'll tell you why I brought you here. Basically, I've been stalking you. Very romantic, I know. I've oh. been collecting strands of your hair, following you on your way to school, watching you through your window. Y you even watch me sleep? Yes! I've also come up with ways to manipulate you into falling in love with me. Well, that's obviously not working. You're literally a man and you're British? That's like double homicide. <laughs> Biscuits? Mans, you make being British your whole personality. I'm gay. Ugh. But I guess you can be my second choice since my mom wants me to be straight. Oh, come on, Kagami. If you become my girlfriend, people will like me more and continue to forget about how much of a person I am. Mm, I feel negative emotion. Hey, yo! Where's daddy your power? Be give daddy your power. Yo, rooster, give daddy your power. Bro, I'm chronically online. Rup. Give daddy your power. Ah, uh, Picasso. Fly away, blind furry. I am Monarch Daddy. I think you already know what to do. Go ahead. Thank you, Monarch Daddy. I can't believe someone's trying to outstalk me. That's my thing. Marinette, that's really not something to be proud of. Give me my daughter back, you fatherless child. Time for me to kidnap you to another location. Oh, I don't know why you think that kidnapping is cute. Especially when you look like a fugly grape. You really think this outfit is ugly? Oh, I thought I looked proper fit. Boy, these British people need better fashion, I swear. Get off me, oh, you smell. Hell. I look like one of those hobos begging for money on the streets of New York City. 
Wow, are you taking me to another location? What an amazing stalker. I'm low-key into you, by the way. Sorry, that was kind of sudden. It's just the British in me. Off you pop. Okay. Uh... Mans, what in tarnation? I'm just doing a basic dumb plan that people will eat up and think I'm really smart. So what's that sob story you told me you had? You know, my life is pretty depressing too. I guess now is the time to tell you my sob story. Basically, my father always hated me and he died. So that's why I'm a terrible person. Kidnap, stalk, steal, SA, cause trauma, temporarily kill everyone, cause panic attacks, much more. I'm sure I kind of collect them like Pokemon cards. But it's all okay because 12-year-old girls find me attractive. I hope Adrian has a good Christmas. I want my umbrella back. But I'm sure you'll agree that I deserve a redemption arc. I believe that you deserve an 80th chance. I'm such a good person, am I right? Whatever. Stop right there, you over gelled haired freak. Get away, Kagami. He might stalk you too. Who beans on toast? Actually, he already stalks me. And since I'm so bipolar, stalking is actually kind of cute. Stop following me! Yes, I'm not even an influencer! And I take back what I said before. I'm actually straight. And I love the British. Oh, uh, uh, okay. But like, why? This is a crack ship come to life. The gays are coming. Yo, wait, so you're telling me my god-awful cousin tried to get with you? Somebody needs to send him back to London. I just can't believe your over gelled haired cousin tried to outstalk You'll me. You'll always be the number one stalker in my heart. Anyways, I'm gonna leave this call like your mom left you. For the last time, Gabriel, I'm into your wife, not Okay, you. but hear me out. What if, just what if, you weren't gay? Straight pride, you get what I'm saying? I regret all the nice things I said to you before. I think this will change your mind. Uh, are you trying to propose to me with my own ring? Howdy, folks, it's me, Colonel Sanders. <coughs> but we're 14. That doesn't matter. Ladybug and Cat Noir got married a couple episodes ago. I didn't stalk and kidnap you for nothing. Now marry me, you rat. Oh my god, we are so cute. Gabriel, is there a good reason why you're struggling so hard to get jewels from teenagers? Literal children. You're a grown man. This is really embarrassing and pathetic. I'm sick of working with a flop like you. Miss Ma'am, girly bop, I don't know who you're pointing that stick at, but it's certainly not me. Why are you worried about my private life when I'm like five feet taller than you? Like, don't you have your own senti monster to watch over and control? Girl, I'm literally slender man compared to you. Anyway, since you're so ugly, take this random box thing. I heard it makes you look prettier and younger. Then maybe you should keep it. What's it like being cheap, ugly knockoffs with the real heroes? Girl, don't talk to me when you got a haircut looking like that. Me and Miss Lettuce hair over here don't like talking to poor people. I bet you defend Haley well, Bieber. Well, I'm used to being cheap knockoffs with other characters, so this is nothing new for me personally. So, Cat Noir and Ladybug were like a couple, so are you two like lesbian couple or whatever? Nuh uh, ain't no way you're asking that. You tell her, Miss Green Beanhead. Well, I do have W Riz. See, Clara Croissant, I already met this five minutes ago and I already trust her mother. Okay, than you. I'm done with this stupid interview. Bye, Ketchup Packet. Okay, Get lost, kitty patitty. Claws in. No wonder I'd give you the cat miraculous. You look like a gender bent version of my old holder. Anyway, since you live in the largest hotel in France, I can assume you have a lot of cheese here. Well, obviously. What do you think I am, a broke? Anyways, maybe you can help me have a less depressing life. You see, my family hates me. Girl, I don't care. Just feed me. Spots off. Tiki, I did amazing, right? Honestly, Alia, it was terrible. Shut up, tic-tac-toe, unless you want me to send you back to Marinette. No, no, no. Please don't send me back with Marinette. She's so annoying. I can't stand her. Um, excuse me. Didn't I tell you and your talking Tom looking self not to be down here? Are you trying to stalk me to figure out other ways to impersonate me? Not everybody wants to be Chloe Bourgeois. Not everyone can be. Mad because your dad loves me more than you? Hey guys, it's me, I'm Chloe, aka Mariah. I'm just hopping in to let y'all know that I opened uh, Super Thanks. And what that basically is, is you can help support me by pressing this button and picking one of these options. You can write a custom little message and it will be colorful and pretty and give a little animation, which will help you stand out in the comment section. I will respond and heart every single one of these comments. Of course, this is optional and I appreciate anything and I love you guys so much. If you can't spend money, I of course understand that. And you can just support me by liking the video and subscribing and leaving a normal comment. Anyways, I love you guys and back to the video. Wee oui, wee, oui, you're so right. We have to get rid of all these pesky gays. Gay people make being gay their whole personality. So I want to get rid of them. That's why I called you all here. So we can plot against the gay people. S'il vous plaît, join me and my G. The straight people will triumph. I know you're gay, Marinette, but Nino's right. I can't help that I'm bisexual. Ew. 
Me and Olia came up with a plan. We're going to throw the geese in a van, set it on fire, and drive it off a building. Yeah. 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 Okay. You realize Marinette's gay? Girl, you think I give a f Cause I don't. You're lucky I haven't broken up with you yet. Well, when you keep faking a French accent, maybe you should break up with me. Plus, I actually support the gays. Kisses in <gasps> French. Don't worry, my G. I can make the gays straight again. Honestly, what am I doing with my life at this point? Pulling my chair out, as you should. Whatever. Anyways, let's eat this god-awful You know what else is god-awful? Your personality. I don't know how you're a model with your ugly face. Anyways, you should totally be in love with me because I'm rich. Oh my god, not you making an actual good point for once. I can just date you for your money and start up my fashion Girl, line. Weirdos. Gabriel, why was I hearing singing throughout the halls? I was just practicing. Well, you sounded terrible. Girl, like you can do any better than me, don't even. I don't even. get paid enough for this. <laughs> I told you I'd help you become straight again, but I can't even do that if you won't even hold my hand. Shut up! Girl, I don't even know why you're talking to me when you literally look like you're constipated. It's just really hard for me to touch your hand. Howdy folks, it's me, Colonel Sanders. <coughs> oh, I hate gays. It's just you're not worthy to touch me, and it just really hurts my ego that I have to touch you. Ah. Well, if it isn't the first person in school trying to get closer to hell, I see. Good. It's where you're going anyway. Girl, what in the oh me oh my are you doing? Leave my girlfriend alone. Howdy folks, it's me, Colonel Sanders. <laughs> I know you're not coming for me when your girlfriend is cheating on you with my sister. She is. Talk about having no riz. <laughs> Let's not talk about my riz. Let's talk about that bad breath of yours. You need a brush Excuse your teeth. my. Chloe, you're making us look bad. For one thing, we should stone her. And I think we should burn her in a fire. Not the 14v1. Y'all ugly and poor. I don't know who you think you're coming for, but. Howdy folks, it's me, Colonel Sanders. <laughs> What do you think you're doing? You know how I feel about poor people touching me. Well, luckily for you, Chloe, I'm a millionaire. Now you and your thin lips can take a seat. Well, Chloe, that was really embarrassing. You know what's embarrassing? You're a big head. Sabrina, what do you have to say for yourself? I'm sorry, Chloe, but you were beat. Sabrina, that's it. You're going back in the closet. I should have expected this. You are a ginger after all. It's been a hot minute since I akumatized Chloe Bourgeois. Ayo, B, give daddy your power. Mouse, give daddy your power. Ayo, rooster, give daddy your power. Ox, give daddy your power. Horse, give daddy your power. Now that that's done with, let's ride. <laughs> Time to solo some flops. Bye bye, rat. Bye, far eyed freak. <laughs> <laughs> away, Love it, nothing you do is cute. So do us all a favor and zip your mouth shut. Did I ever tell you I wish you were dead? Did I ever tell you you look like some bloody booger found in some 80 year old's nose? No, I don't. Keep thinking positive of yourself, because no one I else hope will. You burn. You useless flying fetus. What's going Basically, on? Basically, we tricked you and your big bald head. Don't talk when you look like Melanie Martinez's new look. And don't talk when you look like Thanos. Don't speak like that to me. You look like my sleep paralysis demon. Ew, it's a gay. Ew, it's an old man. Give me the miraculous back right now. Yeah, no thanks. I choose my own destiny. If I want Paris to rot, so be it. Rot like your wife? You already know I'm gonna win, so we might as well just give me the miraculous back now. I don't understand why you think you can stop me now. It's literally been like five seasons. And I beat you in every single one. Want to see how easy it is for me to defeat you? This uh, is why I stole all the miraculous I'm calling from you. CPS. You're welcome for all of the help, Ladybug. Girl, not you thinking I need all of you. I don't. Is it true you're homophobic like us? Uh, I don't want to go back to Adrian. Shut up, Plague. Nobody cares about your problems. Shut up, Tiki. Nobody cares what you have to say. You're coming back with me, and that's final. I'm better than Alia anyways. No, Marinette. Please don't make me go back with you. Oh, Tiki. Why do you think I give this about what you have to say? Now, Plague, go give this ring back to Cat Noir. I actually prefer to stay with Zoe because she makes me happier for some reason. No, I don't care about your happiness. Plague, you're back. Yeah, well, not for long. I'm getting forced against my own will to go back to Cat Noir. Just so you know, you're way better. Gay pride. Anyways, I wanted to say... Howdy, folks. It's me, Carl Sanders. <laughs> hey, who cares? Girl, I came here to say bye to you, and you're saying who cares? You know what? Maybe I am homophobic. Anyways, taking this present and get out of here. Stay yo. I hope Cat Noir dies. We are way better heroes than Scaraflop and Lettuce Head, aren't we? Well, obviously, Cat Noir, nobody is better than the original. Howdy, folks. It's me, Carl Sanders. <laughs> But I just can't believe that my stupid mommy tried to tell me what to do. Anywho, any shoe. Besties, besties for, for the besties. besties. Zoe and who cares? Anyways, my dad told me today that he locks my mom in the basement. You see, you know, that's more tragic than your lesbian love story. No, what's tragic is those crooked teeth. Braces, never heard of her. All that money and you still can't afford nice teeth. 
Okay, you need to learn how to mind your own business. And you need to learn that nobody wants you. But yeah, it's just so hard being me. Being better than everyone else, better looking than everyone else. Girl, your eyes are about to pop out of their sockets. I know you're not looking at me like that when you used to have a fan page for me. I bet you used to pray to me. Ugh, not Kagami calling me. I really can't stand her. Her and her over gelled haired boyfriend. A decline. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, not the chav. Go back to singing M to oh, the beat. Oh, yeah. I really love your plaid shirt that you wear every day. Monko, you know Hi, nobody guys. likes you. Ugh, Lila being useful for once. Howdy, folks. It's me, Colonel Sanders. <laughs> Chloe, what have I been telling you? You need to start being or else nobody's gonna want to talk to you because nobody wants to talk to a nice pick me. But Selena Gomez says kill him with kindness. Um I dedicated this song to Marinette. It's about my money. Do you think she'll finally love me knowing the Wow, rich? this is really Did you really think Marinette would like this? It really does suck. You are paying us, right? Not with that attitude, I'm not. Kagami, no one invited you here. Yeah, well, I came here because Marinette's not picking up the phone. I think she likes you guys better than me. Makes sense because I'm emo. Girl, if you were invited to come here, you need to hang out with those homeless chicks over there. My mom says I deserve to be homeless. Ouch. At least my mom actually loves me. Alliance, call mommy. Calling mommy. Wait, wait, wait. You're in love with Marinette? Yeah, and what's the problem? I don't want to be with your greasy hair looking cousin. Ugh, she's so real. I was looking for your bros everywhere. Well, that's funny. I do not recall inviting you here. You know how I feel about ugly people being in my presence. Okay, but... No, 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 no. Please don't speak. I really don't want to hear your shrill high voice. And I know you've been stalking me for this longest time, but we'll ignore that. Everyone wants to be me, even my god-awful cousin. So will you be my money, Marinette? I love you, honey. <laughs> Yo, I love you, Marinette. Mwah. I didn't... I, uh, have to tell you the truth. I... I think you should use your money by lessons. Marina, you need to go back there. Adrian spent some good money writing that song. Y'all really set him up for failure with that song. Those singing lessons definitely didn't work because I feel like I can't hear anymore. Anyway, let's do my favorite activity. Talking behind people's backs. Let's talk about Kagami. No, she wants my man. That's why she's dating his twin. It's Hi, folks, it's me, Colonel Sanders. <laughs> it's the closest she can get to him. You know what's even worse? Kagami told me she's in love with you. I know, I wanted to puke when I heard it for the first time, too. Like, I don't understand why she just can't be a good Christian girl. All these pesky gays are the same. She's behind me, isn't she? Hi, folks, it's me, Colonel Sanders. <laughs> Right, I am. Oh my god, Kagami, we definitely were not talking about you. Girl, you think I was born yesterday. Like, uh, okay, yeah, we were. <laughs> Anyways, gay bride. <laughs> Layla, I heard Marinette and Alia talking about me. They don't support that I'm gay. Oh my god, Kagami, I'm so sorry. I mean, not really. I don't really care that much. But maybe you should just pretend to be straight so maybe Marinette will think you're, like, cool or something. Maybe make her jealous by dating a British you're boy. Right. Maybe I should pretend to act straight in front of Marinette to be cool so maybe she'd like me. Maybe I won't break up with Felix. He can be a part of my plan. Goodbye, you ugly gay. And that's all you, boo. <laughs> uh, what's this? Dear Marinette. I love you and not Adrian's ugly and musty cousin from Kagami. Hmm. Oh, how problematic it is to not be accepted for who you are. I, however, accept everyone. Just not my own son. It's time to akumatize another gay, since it's always the gays with their negative emotions. Hey, yo! Worst. Give daddy your power. Fascinating. Time to solo these flops. Maybe Kagami's akumatization is all my fault. Maybe I'm the problem. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I'm literally solo. Kagami, please, please, this isn't you. you. I, I mean, mean, it kind of is, is since you're always emo, emo but... Uh, it's so peaceful without hearing heterosexuals. Uh, so... Hi, folks, it's Nick Carl Sanders. <laughs> Uh, don't, don't ignore me, you, you dumb, dumb big Do you know who I am? Maybe bug that too. too. Savior of Paris owns, owns the color red. red. Wow, well, well, if you're gonna, gonna be emo, at least look, look good doing, doing it. it. Milady, look at what I found on the floor. Oh my god, Kagami has a crush on me. I mean, Marinette. It all makes sense. Why else would she date somebody that's British? Hi, folks, it's me, Carl Sanders. <laughs> it's to cover up the truth. Kagami is one of those pesky gays. And she's low-key into me. I mean Marinette. But Marinette is in love with Zoe and dating Adrian. This is really complicated for her. Wait, she's in love with Zoe? That means that she's a pesky gay too. We, we have, have to, to stop, stop that, that queer. queer. Hey, losers. Ew, what do they say? They actually hate the gays too. No, Cloud. They actually love the gays. All the hate towards the gay community, I quickly became homophobic. Hating on gay people became part of my lifestyle. Because of that, I just realized they actually hate the gays. I was a crush that was just a face. Even my mom said being gay is a sin. So that means she's right. She's right. <laughs> <laughs> so 
de Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god! What is that? Thank you, Ladybug. Because of you, I realized I'm not actually gay, and that was all just a phase. Shut up! I'm not gonna lie, I was considering letting you fall to the ground. Cause like, I'm the better blue-haired person. But yeah, we just wanted to let you know that we do not accept you for who you are, so yeah. Here, Kagami, this will keep the gay away. You no longer have a need to date that ugly British person. Thank you for purifying me, Ladybug. Alliance. Call wig Hi, hello! Lila, I decided to change teams. I'm no longer gay. I'm actually straight. Oh, Kagami, I accept you for who you are. Look at this photo where I look pretty Ew, and look ugly. the photo of us is really gay, but I honestly don't care. Um, but Kagami, you said you were gay and you had a crush on me. Girl, who are you to put words in the mouth? I don't have a crush on you, and I never did. Being gay was a phase. Hi, folks. It's me, Carl Sanders. Alia was actually lying to you, and she said I have a crush on you. I would never like a gay person. I'm still in love with Felix, by the way. Um, well, that's good because I definitely did not have a crush on you and I definitely still am in love with Adrian But are you like sure you still don't have a crush on me? Like I'm just asking obviously like I don't want you to but like do you Hypothetically like have a crush on me because you kind of give me lesbian vibes not gonna lie Maybe if I hug you it'll help you figure it out So like how do you feel like totally in love with me obviously like everyone on the show basically uh I'd appreciate if you can get your musty hands off me. Marianne. Musty? I use Chanel lotion. Fine, then would you rather me go back to being gay? Yes, I mean, uh, no, no, obviously not. I hate those gays. I am definitely not one of those gay people. But, like, don't forget, you do have freedom of choice. No matter what decision you make, I'll still always hate you. You know how I always make fun of the queers? Well, I have something to tell you, Alia. The reason I do that is because I'm queer, too. I'm a bisexual. But you cannot tell anyone, okay? It would ruin my reputation. Girl, what the? That's disgusting. I honestly don't understand why I'm still friends with you after that. Uh, psycho. I'm sick of this. How come you always are akumatizing the gays? It's because I I'm homophobic. Well, stop. The gays do not deserve any help. We must eliminate the gays. You know, Zoe, at your young in age, I was gay, but people would constantly bully me. So I decided I would write a movie. Straight pride. Does that mean you're homophobic and don't accept me? Of course not, my dear Zoe. However, I accept you, but I hear Chloe calling you slurs behind your back. Happy first day of Pride Month, my little truck driver. Since it's Pride Month, I sadly can't be homophobic. So I need y'all hobos to pick the two gayest people from your class. Zoe told me she's a lesbian. Howdy, folks. It's me, Colonel Sanders. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I just got gay vibes from Scary Mary over here. Ew. No, that's wonderful, my little yeehaws. Anywho, I'm setting y'all up on a date. Howdy, folks. It's me, Colonel Sanders. <laughs> You've never been in my room before. It's really amazing. Just like me. It's kind of ugly. No, you're not talking with those bright yellow pants. Howdy, folks. It's me, Colonel Sanders. <laughs> But you know what? I'll let it slide since you're cute. Now, come on. And here's where I dream about you being my girlfriend. I mean, Adrian. This is the box filled with things I use to convince myself that I'm straight. This is the mannequin that I dance around my room with and pretend is my girlfriend. This looks like plans to steal drugs. Of course it is. How do you think I get all my money? Howdy, folks. It's me, Colonel Sanders. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, we're gonna pretend that we didn't see that. These are the binoculars I used to stalk. I mean, observe my victims. Some people call it creepy. I call it passion. You know how you're passionate about your acting career? Which, by the way, is never gonna go anywhere. You're deaf the type to only be casted as a background character. Girl, I know you're not talking. You're lucky Justice takes your designs. Hi, butler, who nobody knows the name of. You look extra French today. You look extra gay today, Zoe. Is that the famous girlfriend you brought? After I get rid of Adrian, she will be. Hi, Patricia. No, thanks. I'm Team Chloe. Ew, a gay. Ew, a crusty. will die alone. How about you fix those thin eyebrows before you speak to me? This is why I call you slurs behind your back. You and your girlfriend need to vacate the premises immediately. Don't insult the gays, Chloe. Remember when you said your bear was gay? I remember the good days. Don't expose me. See, Chloe, everyone in this universe is a little bit gay. Howdy, folks. It's me, Colonel Sanders. <laughs> Sorry, my dear sweet Chloe, but the only things I can find on the security cameras are you calling Zoe slurs. And I'll do it again. Howdy, folks. It's me, Colonel Sanders. <laughs> Good, you're here, Mom. Can you get this gay out of our household, please? Sorry, Chloe. I have to go cheat on your father right now. Hand over your life savings. <laughs> yeah, Audrey. Save me from this morning. See, Chloe, even your own mother doesn't care about you. I mean, she doesn't care about me either, but... At least I still have my miraculous. What about you? This isn't over. I will get rid of all of the gays. Here's a photo of me when I used to be gay. 
Uh, wasn't that taking yesterday? Anyways, feast your eyes upon my beautiful design, something that you could never do. Girl, you need to go to art school. I remember when I was a youngin, people bullied me and told me I sucked at acting, so I, I went to acting school. And I hope me telling you that you suck at art will help you go to art school and help you figure out that you're gay. Wow, you just said a whole lot of nothing. Girl, I gave you the best advice I could. I'm actually heterosexual now. We all know that's a lie. <laughs> Oh, I feel a strong negative emotion coming from a ginger. Every time I see one of those Ed Sheerans, I want to akumatize the beautiful Ayo. Wars, give daddy your power. Biff, daddy your power. Now go, ginger nerd. My name is Monarch Daddy. Do you think I'm pretty? Howdy, folks. It's me, Colonel Sanders. <laughs> Girl, no wonder you get bullied. You look like you came straight out of the circus. Be invisible because nobody wants to see your ugly Yeah, I have a conspiracy theory. I think Zoe's one of them queers. No, you think she's gay? Well, I hope she is. I mean, I think she is. What do you think? <laughs> Howdy, folks. It's me, Colonel Sanders. <laughs> well, she literally has a pink hair streak. Well, that's true. Only one of them queers would have that corny in their hair. Wait, I thought you were joking. What if she's actually one of them queers? Well, same. I'm sending you to the mental institution. Daddy, you know they already rejected me. They said I was a lost kid. Anyways, that queer has in her ugly bag. My daughter does Don't not Don't put your do sausage drugs. fingers out. There and that. Open the bag. We all know what's in there. Come on, guys. Are we really going to believe someone who wears blue eyeshadow? I may wear blue eyeshadow, but you're a queer. Also, I'll pay all of you $1,000 to believe me. Meredith, I'm afraid I'll have to take you to my local church to get baptized. Well, milady, looks like this queer was accused of doing... She's so pretty and perfect. She deserves better. My father doesn't give me only toenails. Here, Ginger Vitus. With this, you will no longer be a ginger. Thank you, Ladybug. I've been suffering with gingerism for my whole life. Nobody ever wants to be around me. I really don't care. I think we should get to me so I can put them in a safe place. I definitely will not distribute them. I think them. Zoe does. Yeah. yeah. Zoe, we had out a lot today, and I have something I really need to know. Are you one of them queers? Well, obviously I'm one of them queers. Well, that's great news because I'm low-key into you, so feel honored. What about Adrian? Girl, what about Adrian? Who cares about him? What about your fashion career? It'll be over if you don't get with him. Oh, yeah, I kind of forgot about that. How about I just date Adrian and I'll cheat on him with you? He's clueless. You'll never figure it out. That's a great idea. I know, I'm so smart. Marina, is it true you do drugs? Yeah, I don't do them. I deal them. There's a difference. You look ugly and I want to stay beautiful and pretty. Anyways, that's besides the point. I finally decided that we should be girlfriend and boyfriend and definitely not so i can be famous like i totally actually like you like for real i knew you were not one of those pesky gays howdy folks it's me colonel sanders <laughs> adrian you're a queer uh what is it now? No, all of a sudden, I'm not low-key into you anymore. Your breath kind of smells like drugs. Peace, love, and gay. Oh, don't change your mind tomorrow, I'm sure. Is, is, is my fault I'm better than all of you?